As you and your users begin to familiarize yourself with the application, you may find a need to record new information on your records that you weren't previously. For this, we can create a custom field using the Field Mappings tool. While you can create dozens of custom fields for each main entity, you should try to limit creating new fields as much as possible. Think about what you really need. Too many fields will clutter your records and most likely will not end up being used by your employees. With that in mind, let's add a new field to the company record called Type and use it to indicate whether the company in question is a client or a vendor. First, let's scan this list of fields to make sure the field we want to create doesn't already exist. If not, in the field column header, type custom text to bring up all of the available custom text fields. First, since we know this field is going to have a set of predefined values, and we don't want users to be able to make up their own values, we'll make this field a dropdown. To do this, we must modify the edit type. Let's go ahead and click the field name to display this option. It's easier to make the rest of the changes to this field from the main screen. So let's click Submit to confirm the edit type change and return back to where we started. By default, all unused custom fields are hidden. To make sure this new field actually appears on the record, let's unhide it. And change the name of the field to Type. If you want to force your users to complete this field in order to save the record, select the required checkbox. We only want users to be able to select one value for this field, so we can ignore the Allow Multiple Values checkbox. Next, we have Sort Order. This is what controls where the field appears in the Edit tab of a record. The lower the number, the higher it appears on the page. Just make sure not to repeat numbers. In this case, a sort order number of 140 will position the field neatly between your business sectors and ownership fields. Finally, we need to enter the values. To do this, we'll need to expand this field. We put these in the value list text box, separated by a comma with no spaces in between. Since we're done, we'll click Save, and then open a company record to see our new field. And there you have it. Going forward, users must complete this field when creating and editing companies.